This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're coming to you live from the Marka Microcap Conference 2017 in New York City. I have with me Mahmoud Haq, the CEO of MTBC. Welcome to SNN Live. Thank you for us, uh, having us on the program, Shelley. It's good to have you. Now let's get started. I want to begin with an overview on the company. Mm -hmm. uh, MTBC was formed in 1999. Uh, we've been in business of basically we started as medical billing company. Uh, then we developed our own technology platform, electronic health records, PHR, all of those uh, technology platforms that are needed in today's uh, challenging healthcare reimbursement in, uh, environment. Uh, we went public about three years ago in July 2014. We are listed on NASDAQ. Our symbol is MTBC. So you're the founder, right? Yes. So what made you create this company? What did you see? What was your vision? Uh, what made me start this is my wife, who's a physician. She was looking for a medical billing company. She couldn't find one. And by that time, at that time, we have already done an IPO and we are, I have sold the shares in the IPO. It was purchased by a, by someone, uh, by a bigger company. So she said I wasn't doing anything and I should go out and start working. That's why we started this company. Now, what services do you provide? We started, as I mentioned, we started with providing medical billing services initially. And now we have a complete technology platform. So where do you go from here? What are some of your new products? Uh, the new product that we announced about a month ago is called Talk EHR. It's the next generation of the electronic health records, which basically you'll be able to talk to the EHR just like, just like other technology, and it will respond to your uh, commands, and it's going to be a smart platform. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank Mahmoud for coming on to SNN Live, and I want to thank you personally. And now, after, you fi after we finish this interview, I'm going to bring on Steven Snyder and Bill Korn, the CFO and the president, and we'll continue the interview with them. So thank thanks for much. coming on. Shelley, thank yeah. you very much. I have with me Steven Snyder, the president of the publicly traded company MTBC, and the symbol for that company is MTBC. Steve, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks, Shelley. Pleasure to be here. It's good to have you. Now, I just finished with Mahmoud, the founder and CEO of the company, and you're here to tell us a little bit more about MTBC. So I want to start with asking you what your role in the company is and what, you're, what you do. Absolutely. Uh, again, Steve Snyder. I'm the president of the company and uh, work with a uh, phenomenal team helping to grow the company. So, as you go through your day, what are your growth initiatives? Where are you taking the company? Where do you see the future? Shelly, we see a, a number of different opportunities. Uh, one is from an organic growth perspective. Uh, we have a, an industry-leading platform that helps providers end-to-end. Uh, -end. It allows them, uh, in our target market of small to medium-sized practices, it allows them to earn more, reduce their expenses, and streamline workflows. And we're building partnerships with leading companies throughout the industry. Uh, proud uh, and pleased to announce four new partnerships already this year that are generating leads. Uh, we're growing organically and also see significant opportunity from a consolidation perspective. The industry is highly fragmented. Uh, we have a platform and a business model that allows us to buy our competitors, uh, to bring them onto our platform, and uh, to, to bring the significant benefits to uh, our shareholders by doing so. What do you credit your success, recent success, to in the company? Uh, uh, two things primarily. One is from the perspective of our platform. We're really pleased to have what we believe to be one of the very best platforms in the industry. It's a cloud-based platform that's extended to the mobile phones and iPads and the like, mobile devices, through a series of mobile health apps. Uh, so part of it's technology. The second part of it is really our team. We have 1,800 team members uh, around the world who really allow us to perform uh, our day-to-day -day tasks in such a way that we're allowed to meet our clients' needs to help them earn more, reduce their expenses, and streamline workflows. How do you keep track of the accounts receivables for your clients? 
Um, we do it through a number of ways. One is we leverage technology from the very beginning of the process throughout the entire process. So technology now, or proprietary technology, performs the lion's share of that management. Uh, in addition to that, we have experienced professionals who then understand particular specialties, understand payers, understand the peculiar aspects of a state's regulations, and can then help pick up where the technology leaves off and ensure that our providers are receiving optimized reimbursements. What's your background? Uh, by background, I'm an attorney. And what made you join MTBC? I was just really pleased to join about 11 years ago. Uh, I saw Mahmoud's vision, our founder and CEO's vision. Uh, I got an opportunity to meet his team and uh, just wanted to be part of the team, bought into the vision that they have for really changing the healthcare industry, and uh, am very pleased to be part of that team. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Snyder, the president of MTBC. Steve, now I'm going to finish with you. I already spoke with Mahmoud, and we're going to bring in Bill Korn next. So Thank thanks you, for Sarah. coming on. Thank Appreciate you. It. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. You got it. Bill, welcome back to Essendon. Thanks, Shelley. It's great to be here. It's good to have you. So let's get started with um, your role in the company. I've already had on Mahmoud, mm -hmm. the founder and CEO. I've had on Steve Snyder, the president of the company. And now it's your turn as CFO. So what role are you playing in the company? Sure. Thanks, Shelley. Uh, so as uh, CFO, I joined MTBC uh, close to four years ago. Uh, this is my seventh CFO gig. Uh, and I joined as we were getting ready to do an IPO. Uh, so I helped in the IPO process. Uh, my background, I've got a, uh, both an undergrad and an MBA from, uh, from Harvard. Uh, I've worked at a lot of small growing technology companies, including 10 years at, uh, at IBM. Steve mentioned in his interview with me that the company is growing through both organic growth and also through acquisitions. That's right. Uh, he also mentioned that it's a very you know, fragmented industry. So what role are you seeing MT, MTBC playing in the consolidation of even mom and pop or some larger companies to grow the company? Yeah, good question. So we see ourselves as a, uh, as a consolidator. Uh, we think we have great capability to, uh, to take companies that are struggling to, uh, to serve their clients and struggling to, uh, to break even, uh, utilize our technology platform, utilize our team offshore and, uh, and, and take a business that was not profitable, integrate it with ours in a way that it is uh, profitable and accretive to, uh, to shareholders. So we think about ourselves as a company that, that is around $30 million of, uh, of revenue, uh, looking at how do we grow, how do we double, how do we double again. You know, that's, our, uh, that's our goal is to, uh, to continue to, uh, to, to wring out some of the inefficiencies in the, uh, in the industry uh, while giving better and better service to our clients. Since the IPO, what is the methods that you're using for funding these acquisitions? Yeah, good, uh, good question. Uh, so we, uh, we went public in July of 2014. Uh, our common stock trades on, uh, on NASDAQ, uh, as you mentioned before, symbol is MTBC. Uh, our belief is that, the, uh, is that uh, over time, the, uh, as, as we continue to grow and demonstrate profits, uh, it'll be useful to, uh, to think about using that stock in, uh, uh, in acquisitions or for funding of acquisitions. But today, we're not so excited about selling a lot of stock at, uh, at these prices. In fact, we did uh, share buybacks last year. Uh, so we have a second publicly traded stock. Uh, the symbol is MTBCP. Uh, that also trades on, uh, on NASDAQ. Uh, it went out initially in November of 2015. Uh, we sold a little more uh, in the middle of, uh, of 2016. Uh, and we see this, uh, this preferred stock as a good funding source for, uh, for growth. Uh, the preferred stock, which I'm not going to give you all the details about. You can certainly read more about it on our, on our website. Uh, but it is not convertible into uh, the common stock. Uh, it pays a, uh, an 11% dividend and pays the dividends monthly. So, Bill, I think it's, uh, it's really interesting that we've had on the management team of the company. For all intents and purposes, at this point, I'd like to give out the website for our audience to go and get more information on MTBC, if you would. Certainly. So, the, uh, the company's website's easy to remember. It's www.mtbc.com. 
Uh, we've also got a very extensive investor relations portion of the website. Uh, you can go directly there to ir.mtbc.com. Uh, when you go there, you can see our SEC filings from Edgar. Uh, you can see presentations uh, like this one. Uh, and you can also see uh, uh, slides uh, and, and other interviews that uh, management has done explaining the company. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Korn, CFO of MTBC, a publicly traded company on NASDAQ. I'm Shelly Kraft. This is SNN Live. And we're coming to you live from the Markham Microcap Conference 2017 right here in New York City. Bill, thanks for coming back on. Thanks for having me.